All right, here's solutions problem 39 off the GRE subject math practice test. Uh, we're given this algorithm here that we'll have to follow. It takes as an input n greater than 2 and prints one or more integers. And what we are asked is what will be printed if you put 88 in as your input. And the first thing to realize is that you're not going to have to go through this entire algorithm until it quits. You don't have to figure out everything that will be printed. Because if you look at your answers, only 2, only 88, only the, the divisors of 88, the integers from 2 to 88 increasing, the integers from 88 to 2 decreasing. If you figure out the first, what, two numbers I think that this thing prints, you'll be able to deduce the correct answer. Once you figure out the first thing printed, you'll be able to cross out a lot of these guys. And I think once you have the second one, you'll be done. So let's just follow through this algorithm and see what the hell happens. If you glance at this algorithm, there's n's and there's i's and there's k's. So maybe that's what we should keep track of. Here's my n column, my i column, and my k column. Now let's see what happens. So if the input integer is 88, the input integer is n. So that means n is equal to 88. Set i equal to 1, no problem. Well, i is less than n. So as long as that 1 is less than 88, as long as i is less than n, this column is less than this column, I am going to do this stuff. So I'm going to stay in this loop until my i is greater than or equal to my n here. Okay, so begin. Start in, get into this next little loop here. Replace i with i plus 1. No problem. Now i is equal to 2. Set k equal to n. No problem. Now k is equal to 88. Uh, well, k is greater than 1. Sorry, i. Well, k is greater than or equal to i. Get in this loop here in red. Start doing this thing. So I'm going to continue doing this thing until I break out of this loop in which case I'll get back to this loop until I break out of this loop. So begin, if i equals k, i doesn't equal k, one is two and one is 88. So if this were true, print i. If not, replace k by k minus one. So this turns into an 87. And then you don't jump all the way back here because note that k is still greater than or equal to i. I'm still in this red loop here. So I'm gonna again ask myself, are the two numbers the same? Because if so, I'm gonna print it. If not, I'm gonna subtract one here. They're still not the same. They're still not the same. They're going to continue to not be the same until I get down to a 2 right here. When I get to a 2 right here, what will happen is now i equals k. So I am going to print i. So the first thing I will print will be a 2. So I'm following this all the way down until this is a 2. And now it says, well, k is greater than or equal to i. That's still true. So I'm still going to do this loop. Um, if i equals k, print i. OK, I did that. And now I'm going to replace k with k minus 1. So this will go down to a 1. And now that this is a 1, k is no longer greater than or equal to i. So now I am done with this red loop right here, and I go up to right here. And I go up to right here because i is still less than n. i is 2 and n is 88. So I'm going to do this stuff in blue again. And so what do I do in blue right here? Well, I replace i with i plus 1. So this turns into a 3. Maybe I should have put that a little lower down. Let's put it right here. Uh, set k equal to n. OK, so this boots back up instead of going to 88. Or instead of being down at 1, it jumps back up to 88. Uh, well, k is greater than i. Oh, right, I'm in that situation again, right? I'm going to start doing this red loop. And uh, what happens in the red loop is this number keeps decreasing until it is equal to this number, at which point I print this number. So, uh, and until then, it subtracts one each time. So I would go 87, 86, all the way down until three. And then I'm gonna print the number three. And this will turn into a two. And then that'll break me out of this loop and I'll move this up to a four. But I don't even have to worry about what happens when this goes up to a four, because I've already printed the numbers two and three. So what have I done? Do I print only the integer two? Nope. Do I print only the integer 88? Nope. What about the divisors of 88 that are greater than 1? No, because 3 is not a divisor of 88. That worked out kind of conveniently. Um, because if you take 88 and divide by 3, you get a remainder. Or because if you sum the digits of eight, 88, you get the number 16. If you sum the digits of 16, you get the number 7. And 3 doesn't divide 7, so 3 doesn't divide 88. Cool little divisibility by 3 trick that you probably already knew. Uh, the integers from 2 to 88 in increasing order. That certainly seems possible. The integers from 88 to 2 in decreasing order. Nope, the first thing I printed was a 2 and the second was a 3. By process of elimination, this must be the answer. And it's not all that surprising 
because you can kind of see what's happening here. This keeps increasing by one, and then this guy goes all the way down until they're the same, and it prints. So really, I'm going to end up printing these guys over and over again until I finish this loop. And this loop finishes, um, I continue this loop while i is less than n. So it won't finish until i is no longer less than n. So I guess i equals n when this is 88. But I still print 88 because once I set it to 88, I guess I somehow that ends up happening when you go through the, just based on the answer. The answer being D, I guess that ends this video.